Abraham says, hi, Mark. What's your take on Neymar going to the Saudi league, considering he's one of the best players in the world? Also, to what point do you think the Saudi league starts to become a concern? Um, can I have my honest opinion on the Saudi league? Um, I think I can, can't I? Yes. Um, I, I think it's a shame. Um, look, people can do what they want to do, but I watched a bit of the Saudi football. It's shit. The standard shit. Like, I, w I don't care if there's another competitive league out there that's better than the Premier League and I can watch it and enjoy it. But the standard of football is shite. And they can't do anything about that. I'm not, I'm not knocking the Saudi League. I know what they're trying to do and, I'm, you know, that's up to them. But they're pe the people are there to, they're, they're there to earn money. They're there for money. They're not there for competitive, you know, tenacity or drive. It's a place to go and earn money. And that is, you know, it, I've got a mate who I used to work with, right, in Birmingham. He's quite good at his job and he got headhunted by a financial institution in London. He didn't want to move to London and his family and kids were in Birmingham. So he used to get up at five o'clock every morning to get the train to London, get into London about half seven, on the tube, get in the office at half eight, work till six, on the tube, get the train, get back at nine o'clock at night. Did that five days a week. Why did he do it? Money. Did he have job satisfaction? Did he have a good home life balance? No, he did it for two years to earn really good money. And I think that's a little bit like Saudi Arabia. The pe players are there because of money. The, the, the actual quality will never be there when you're just paying people to, for money. Um, because they don't have, I mean, look, look, the Premier League's got a lot of people that are in it for money. But we've also got a competitive league that's been there for years and years, same as La Liga, same as the Champions League, same as the Bundesliga, same as Serie A. The trouble with Saudi, Saudi Arabia is they're trying to build it really quick. But their biggest issue, it's a bit like Man City, isn't it? Very, very good, very good team, but that nobody respects them and they don't really have much of a history. But at least Man City play in the Premier League. What they're doing is credible in that sense. But the Saudi League is going to have a problem because the competitive element is it's exhibition football, isn't it? When I watch it, it's like, oh, there's Neymar, there's Firmino, there's Ronaldo. But it's exhibition football. It's not even international football. Have you seen reports now saying Mbappe could sign an extension with PSG? Oh, yeah. I mean, look, that Mbappe deal, it, it, the Mbappe transfer is, has never grabbed the op, grabbed the attention of anybody, has it? I mean, he's the best player in the world, but he's the best player in the world that PSG said was up for sale and nobody was interested in it because I think everybody expected exactly what's going to happen. There's an agreement in place now and, you know, it's just... Yeah, I, I'm just not interested in it at all. I don't know about anybody else. Um, um, Hector says, how exactly is Mbappe the best player in the world? Oh, Hector, you've ruined it. Like, could you not have told me who you think is the best player in the world? I think Mbappe is the best player in the world. Yeah. But certainly with the Chelsea goal and the Chelsea goal that was disallowed for offside, quite rightly, the um, it's Trent Alexander-Arnold again. And... Teams are not going to stop exploiting that. They're not. He's at fault for both of those goals, Trent. And Klopp's never going to solve that problem. And that's fine. He stands by his man. People have spoken about Trent playing as a number 10. They've spoken about him playing as a midfielder. But Liverpool need to sort out their midfield. We all know that. But every team in Europe knows that you're, that 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 Trent is crap at right back. And at some point, and I'd love to know what Liverpool fans think about this, it must start to get frustrating the amount of goals you concede because he can't defend his back post. Yeah, he's a brilliant, brilliant player going forward. And Michael says, look, Trent is a terrible right back, he's good at, but he's good going forward. But the goals you concede are targeted. Like they, they're going to target you. He's got no positional sense. He loses his man every time. De Sarsi's there. He's looking at him and he's late. He, he doesn't react. Chilwell, he's looking at him and he doesn't react. That, that's something. If I was a coach, I'd be, I'd be on training on Monday. I'd be showing him the video and I'd say, next week, go with the runner. Next week, don't let him be free. He must have been told that so many times and he still doesn't do it. Um, look, Liverpool have won... Champions Leagues. Liverpool have won leagues with Trent Alexander-Arnold. I think going forward, he's absolutely world-class. But I would be getting tired in the amount of times, 
is costing you goals. I mean, it's a difficult place to go to Stamford Bridge. Opening game of the season, it ain't. It, in no season is it ever easy to go to Chelsea and win. It's not. And Liverpool are winning 1-0 and they're in control. And then suddenly the game turns because your right back's not followed his man. And then luckily, it could have been 2-1 and the game's over potentially because your right back's not following your man. Everyone talks about the midfield, but Liverpool should be winning that game if the right back does his job. And, and that's how I look at it. How good is James? He's so powerful and his end product is superb, says Ross. I'm a massive fan of Rhys James. Uh, my only issue with Rhys James is I fear he's never going to get past his injury issues. I think he's always going to pick up injuries, unfortunately. I hope I'm wrong. Because if I am wrong, he will be England starting right back and he will be a massive, a massive asset for Chelsea. He's their captain now, but he's got to stay fit. Ronald says, do you have a feeling Chelsea can win the title? Well, we had that Chelsea fan on who was just saying that he's written the season off before it even started. Um, I was about to say, you shouldn't write the season off if you're a Chelsea fan. I think you've just got to be patient. You were dreadful last year. And Pochettino can't work miracles in two months. You've got to look at what Ten Hag did. Um, what Ten Hag did is he got third place in his first season and he won the Carabao Cup. And I thought that was remarkable. Now, if Poch can do anything like that, it would also be remarkable. Chelsea fans are going to have to be patient. Chelsea fans are used to, used to getting a new manager and winning the league. I, I think football's changed. And although Chelsea spend a lot more money than anyone else, it seems... I think this is a project that's going to take a bit of time. Liverpool's midfield is really vulnerable, says Jack. You're spot on.